Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, hair, fashion, and lifestyle. It's the girl, Lady M here, and today I'm coming at you with another video from the Pat McGrath collection for the holidays. So I'm gonna be giving you my review, my first impressions, and also creating this eye look for you today using this palette. And this is part of the Pat McGrath holiday collection. And this is the Celestial Odyssey palette. And this, I think the collection is called Celestial Holiday Collection. Um, she does have two quads, two blushes, and a highlighter that were a part of this collection. I did order those. I don't have them yet. So when I do, I'll definitely have another video for you guys on that. But before we hop into today's video, if you aren't already subscribed, then take some time to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, then make sure you turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into my eye look, my first impressions and review on the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey palette. Okay, so I am so excited to get into my Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey palette. This is for the 2021 holiday collection. So this is the second time that she has released a palette this size. It has 18 shades. It's probably like one of her more affordable palettes. Um, so I am excited. This palette came out probably like a while ago, um, but I picked this up during the Sephora holiday sale. Um, I did also pick up um, the, the two quads, the blushes and the highlighter from Pat McGrath's website. So I am waiting for that to come in, but I was just so excited when I got this um, at Sephora. Um, and so, yeah, this is the Celestial Od Odyssey palette. Um, this has the cardboard um, outer packaging, but for this year, Pat McGrath did something different. We have, oh, let me kind of cover the, the mirror. So for this year, we have the plastic frame um, on the inside and it has the Pat McGrath Labs logo. That is something different than the last year's palette, um, which was just all straight cardboard. I know some people probably felt like it was kind of cheap, but you know, this is a good palette um, for you to, for an intro to Pat McGrath if you're not trying to spend that 120, uh, $125 for her uh, regular palettes. Um, so I'm happy that she did this um, plastic frame base with the Pat McGrath symbol. And the colors, the color, the packaging just gives me holiday vibes. Like I love the red and gold. It just speaks holidays. It speaks, you know, um, I don't know, it just gives me holiday holiday vibes. So I love the packaging. Um, I feel like the color story in this palette is comprehensive, um, where you could do easy one shadow looks, neutral looks, you can play with a little bit of color if you like color. And it's not like crazy kind of colors um, either. I feel like you have the pink and you have the green, and then you have like, you know, smoky kind of color. So I do feel like this is a pretty versatile palette. I'm gonna sh whoop, whoop, uh, uh. Oh my God, I just dug into it. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see the color story here. Uh, very neutral-esque um, kind of palette. So that's also interesting. There's this huge, gigantic mirror. I already took the plastic off, so you'll just be able to see the mirror there. Um, the palette retails for $78. It has a 12 month shell life. It has luxe finishes and the shadows can also be used wet or dry. So that's a plus. Um, each pan contains 1.1 gram of product. You have different finishes. You have satins, you have shimmers, you have foils, you have metallics, you have duochromes, you have velvet matte, and then you have <laughs> iridescent sparkle. I kind of messed up the one um, shade already because the thing dug into it. Um, 
but listen pomegranate never disappoints with formulation that's just the one shadow that i kind of messed up um i'm not really gonna get into swatches because like i said this is not a new palette it's been out i just wanted to really jump in and create a nice eye look for you you have one two three four mattes in here um if anything oh my gosh i think i'm gonna get into an eye look and i really don't know like where i'm gonna go with this eye look i'm like mm, this color right here i don't know this is like a blue color it's almost like a black smoky i think it's called neor moon oh my god that color so it's gonna give you that smoky eye vibes that color is so gorgeous so i totally love that color and then obviously this old color over here, it reminds me of a color that um, Natasha Denona had done in that green palette. I don't remember the name of it. Do you see that? So that almost is like a duochrome because do you see that shift where it has like that gold and then that olive green? So that is gorgeous um, color. Let me see if I could tell you guys what that color is. That's Cit Citrine Envy. And then another color here. I'm going to see what this one looks like. This is probably like a taupey kind of color. And that looks good. It's cool tone. So that's the taupey kind of color. That's called Palladium. And then you have Corrupt Copper, Nirvana. Nirvana is that green. And y'all know I love a good green. But this is kind of like that forest kind of green. Ooh. That's the green. I think that I love that um, Neor Moon, and I think that's what I want to use. I haven't done a smoky eye here, so huh. let's go ahead and get into the eye look. I'm going to bring you guys in and let's get it. Okay, so I'm starting out with a neutral color, and I'm going to go in with Sun Rose Amber, and this is probably going to be like that. Um, orangey kind of warm kind of color that you could go ahead and put all over the lid so that's what um sunrose amber is so just a very nice neutral shade um what i like about this palette as well is you can totally do um one shadow looks like one of the things that i like about pat mcgrath's formulas is a lot of times i'll do those I don't want to call them foil shadows, but those metallic shadows, I'll do that and do that one color all over my lid. And it's like so easy to blend. I can start that by putting that on my lid and then I can just literally blend out the edges, diffuse the edges and boom, I have a look right there. So that is that one color already nicely blended into my crease area transition. I'm just going to kind of buff that up a little bit more, take that color up a little bit more. And then there is a dark brown color in here. It's called Nocturne. Nocturne. And I'm going to put that color in the crease, layer that into the crease on top of this color. So that's what we're going to do next but I just wanted to show you how nice this color is. Ooh, cut that. Okay, so I basically already started blending out Nocturne, Nocturne, and I just put that right into the crease area and I'm blending that in with the first color we laid down, which was called Sunset Amber. And that's what the color is looking like. So just nice. Um, nice transition into the um, crease area. So I'm going to go in on this lid with that color. And you can see I'm just laying it into the crease and I am just blending that color out. And then I just really like that color. I forget the name of it. It was like that black smoky color. So doing a black smoky eye, it's just so holiday-esque. You know, if you have events that you're going to and you need a glam, holiday glam, I feel like a smoky eye is always a win. It goes with everything and it's gonna be like a black smoky eye. So it goes with everything. And so that is one thing that you can't never 
go wrong when you create that nice smoky eye. Okay, so I have the other color on and I'm just taking my time and just blending that out. Um, I don't even wanna put it in the outer corner, I don't think, because I think I want just that black color just to go all over the lid. All right, so I'm gonna do the same color story to my lower lashes, going in with that first shade and then going to go in with that dark shade on my lower lashes and then we'll be back just to put that color all over them okay so i changed my mind i'm gonna go in with the black color first and i have a packing brush from sonia g and i'm just going to pack that color all over the lid omg i didn't want to mess up my lower lashes because i have noticed that whenever i do this i always end up with a messy lower lash where the color just disappears whenever I put color on my lid. So now I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Oh, I think I picked up too much. And I'm just going to kind of pack that color on. Wow, this is just gorgeous, okay? I have a little bit of fallout from using my fingers. And like I mentioned, I did not want to put the brown in the outer corner. I just wanted to play with this color all over the lid. Look at that. Ooh, Pat McGrath, honey. So now I'm just gonna take the brush again and just go ahead and then now just kind of clean this up just a little bit more with my brush. Do a little bit of detail work with the brush. Now that I kind of have the color all over the lid. Just take in the brush. And I have mad fallout going on right now. <laughs> Which remember that this can be used wet or dry. And that's literally what it looks like. Okay, so first thing that I did was just go in with a regular black eyeliner just to kind of give me that smoke effect a little bit more on the lower lash and then once i have that eyeliner blended then i'm gonna go in with um the two same shades that we use in the crease and in the transition area so now i'm just gonna go in with the first shade which is the sunset amber and i'm just taking that on the edges and just patting that onto the edges and then I'm just going to blend. And if I like zoom in, you guys can see that I have some fallout going on down there. Okay, so I am back and I finished off the look and you guys, this is just amazing as far as the smokiness. I love this color. Um, I feel like it's this, look is perfect for the holidays if you're going out you're celebrating then you want to do something smoky and honestly you could have used like a black base and then put this color on top so if you wanted to intensify the smokiness you could totally use um, a black shadow gel liner base or black pencil um, you know put that down first and then put the color on top that would be completely um, appropriate as well to intensify the look but I love how this look turned out now on to the palette um, honestly it's Pat McGrath so I don't really have any complaints there was a little bit of fallout um, with the shade it's called noir moon so there was a little bit of fallout with that oh and in my inner corner I did go in with um, lunar haze and then I went over that with palladium. So that's what I have in my inner corner. Um, so I do feel like that um, if you haven't tried anything from Pat McGrath by now, then I feel like this is an amazing palette. Literally can take you from day to night. I feel like the colors are easy to wear. It did have a little bit of fallout. I did use my fingers and I did use the brush. 
um, and I was kind of swiping and I forgot that with those shades, you kind of have to pack them on and using my fingers, you still want to go in like a swiping motion. Um, and also it can be used wet. So the second time I went in, I did wet the brush and then it applied so much better. Um, and I didn't really have that much fallout. So just be mindful of that when you're playing with those foiled or metallic shades, they are a little bit more like gritty kind of texture. So depending on what kind of brush you use and how you apply, you can get some fallout. So again, I do think that this palette is definitely something that you can do from day to night you can do neutrals you kind of have a little bit of everything in this palette as far as the color story goes as i mentioned i wasn't really going to do any swatches i did do a couple swatches of colors i just feel like the palette has been out for a while and probably almost everybody has it and i kind of wanted to do an eye look that was different because i've seen a lot of the looks and most of them were like the bronze the green the pinks and so i didn't really see you know the smoky and so because because it's the holiday season you want to do something glam i felt like this would be completely you know appropriate um i will list all the products that i did use for the rest of my face in the description box below so be sure to go ahead and check it out let me know what you guys think about this palette again this is the second palette that pat mcgrath has done in this kind of um format um Although this is a little bit more upgraded than the original one from last holiday season. So if I had to pick, I probably would go with this just to give you more of that, you know, luxury kind of feeling at an affordable price. Um, so yeah, love, love, love. I love all things Pat and I will, um, when I get the blushes and the highlighter and the other quads, then I'll definitely, you know, do, um, a review first impressions for you guys. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thanks for joining me in today's video. And if you aren't part of the lady M fam, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to give me some thumbs up, share this video and thanks for joining and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.